Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I bring you greetings from Hemingway Memorial AME Church, where we are known as The Way, where our pastor is the senior pastor, Reverend Chris Matisse, and, and First Lady Tanya and Israel and Zion. Good morning, and welcome to our morning manna prayer call, where we will hear a word from the Lord. My name is Reverend Sharon Ross, and I will be your presenter for today. Let us pray. Dear Lord, may I not speak from myself, but from you, Lord, and for your glory. May I speak with your wisdom and truth and not that of the world's wisdom and truth. I pray, God, that we will hear a word, Lord God, that will change our hearts. In the name of Jesus today, we thank you. And let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. And this morning, our topic on this morning is joy cometh in the morning. And our remix, it is a guarantee. Uh, If you will go with me to Psalms 30, uh, verses 1 through 6. Psalms 30, verse 1 through 6. Amplified version, Uh, if you listen, I will read. I will extol and praise you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cry to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, you have brought my life up from, from Sheol, the netherworld, or the place of the dead. You have kept me alive so that I would not go down to the pit or to the grave. Sing to the Lord, O you, his godly ones, and give thanks at the mention of his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for a lifetime. And weeping may endure for a night, but a shout of joy comes in the morning. And as for me in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. The word weeping means to shed tears and express grief and sorrow, overwhelming emotion by shedding tears, by being tearful. Psalms 35 says, for his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for life and that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And in this verse, it is a reminder that the sorrows that we face in this life are temporary. It also praises God for his strength and the promise that one day sin and sorrow will be no more. Here we see this part of Psalm 30 is a song of praise for merciful deliverance. King David sinned by taking a census against God's wishes and resulting in God's discipline. The Lord could have let David fall to his enemies, but instead he sent a plague on Israel. We see here where David recalls how he turned to the Lord in his time of distress, crying out for help, rescue, deliverance, and strength. And God, in his faithfulness, responds to David's cries, healing and restoring his life. You see, just like David, there will be some dark times in our lives and maybe even some long, lonely nights. But just know that trouble doesn't last always. We are not alone. The Lord is with us. He will never leave us or forsake us. He is a faithful God. Because in this life, we're going to have some tribulations. We're going to have some issues. We're going to have some problems. But be of good courage. For I, the Lord, had overcome the world. We see that weeping may endure for a night, but the joy is going to come in the morning. It is a verse that encourages us to trust in God's faithfulness and to remember that sorrow is temporary. The psalmist may be referring to God's discipline and reminding us that the sorrows we face in life are only temporary. We see here in verse 5 that David calls upon the the faithful to sing praises to the Lord, emphasizing God's favor, which is life-giving, even though his anger might be momentary. 
He underscores the idea that weeping may last through the night, but joy arrives with dawn, the break of dawn, a testament to God's redemptive mercy. This particular psalm is a cue to stop the wheels of our worry and to turn our faith and hope in God instead. I know for sure we've been down this road a night or two. Yes, joy always comes in the morning. Nothing in the bright sunlight of a new day is ever as dire as it seems in the darkness of the night before. The hope of a new day is real. Everything is going to be all right. Joy is coming in the morning. Just look unto the hills from which cometh our help, and we know that all of our help comes from the Lord. Psalm 27, 13 through 14, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. He shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. See, weeping may endure for a night, but joy is definitely going to come in the morning. Second Corinthians 4, 17, 18 reads, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at things which are seen, but things that are unseen, for the things that are seen are temporal, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. Isaiah 54, 7 and 8 says, For a small moment I have forsaken thee, but with great mercies I will gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for just a moment, but everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith the Lord our God. Weep in dismay and dismay endure for a brief moment for a night, but the joy of the Lord is coming in the morning. Yes, that joy that is dependent on who Jesus is rather than who we are or what is going on in our life or happening around us. So hold on for that night. It might seem like a a long night. It might seem like uh, uh, forever, but joy is coming in the morning, unspeakable joy in the morning. God's timing is always on time. But we know that God, his, 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 his years and days are different. But we know that joy is coming in the morning. We know that whatever we're going through over that night, that joy is going to come in, in the morning. God will not let evil go on forever. He will not let us be in sorrow and pain and, 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 and discomfort. In, life, in the life we live during the time of waiting for the end shall be lived. Uh, knowing that joy is coming in the morning, that God is going to make a way out of no way. God is always on time to help us. God, help us to always see that the struggles and sorrows of this world are ultimately temporary. We praise you that for that reality. God, we praise you for the promise that one day sin and sorrow will be no more, that one day death will be no more. We should just be glad uh, that God has made a way out of no way. We know that God is going to do everything uh, 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 right. He, he's, he's a God of his promise, and he will not fail. So that's why we enter into his gates when we pray and we ask God to help us with thanksgiving. and We enter in his courts with praise in the physical church or our, 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 our area where we're praying um, be, we're being thankful unto him, and we're blessing his name, because the Lord, he is good, and his mercy is everlasting, and it, it, it endures to all generations. So we just thank you, Lord, that one day we see in Revelations 21, 4 and 6 that uh, God said he shall wipe all tears from their eyes, and there should be no more death, no more so- sorrow, no more crying. Neither shall there be any more pain for the former things that passed away. We know that this life, uh, time is filled with swift transitions. None, none on earth or move can stand. Build your hopes on things eternal and hold on to God's unchanging hand. Trust in him who will not leave you. 
what whatsoever the years may bring. When your earthly friends forsake you, or when you feel like you uh, just can't make it, and it, the, the, the night is just too long, still, still more closely to him cling. Just hold on to God's unchanging change in him. Because we know that God is going to make a way. God is going to turn the sorrow into joy, uh, the crying into, into rejoicing. God is going to make a way. He's going to deliver us from whatever this situation and issues are. God is going to deliver us. When we're going through that long, lonely night of sorrow and pain or uncertainty, God will take us through. He will, he will make a way. Hold a God's unchanging hand. Don't worry about what it may look like, what it may seem like, or how impossible it may seem. Just hold on to God. Because joy is coming in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is going to come in the morning. God, we thank you for your joy. We thank you knowing that we can trust God. We can trust you that you're going to bring us out victoriously. That we are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us. And we know, God, that we're going to make it, Lord God. Oh, God, because, Lord God, we know, God, that you can do anything but fail and that you are a God of promise. And, God, we put our faith and our trust. Help us, Lord God, to be obedient to your word and help us, Lord God, to call on you when we need help. Help us to, Lord God, submit our supplications unto you, God, Lord God, the things that are on our mind and hearts that we know you're our loving Father, that new mercies we see every day. Every morning we wake up, new mercies we see. It's another day that we can take up our cross and we can follow you and, Lord God, and be obedient to your word. So we praise you, God, for all that you do in our lives. We praise you, God, for being God all by yourself. And you are so awesome in all of your name. On all, the, on all of your name. God, we praise you. We thank you. And we love you on this day. Because, God, we know that we can do nothing without you. And you are our God, Lord God. And we have favor with you. So we praise you. We thank you, God. And we love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank you and we love you. Amen.